One way of keeping your notes accessible inside of Evernote when you need them is by using tags. I use tags quite extensively. They are a key component of my productivity system. Let me show you how I use them in just a moment. I'm Dave Edwards and I've got a lot of tips on how best to use Evernote in my course, Evernote for Beginners. You don't have to be a beginner to appreciate the course. In it, I go over a lot of features you may not be using to their fullest. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses. So think of tags as a way of collecting notes with a common theme or purpose that may reside in various notebooks and notes all across your system. So here's a test note that we can start working with. If you go to the very bottom, you will see this little uh, symbol here uh, where you can add a tag and you can click on that and then you can type in the name of your tag right here. On your keyboard, you can, control, you can hit Control Command T for the same effect. And I have a bunch of tags here in my left navigation uh, window. If you, uh, if you want to tag an item, uh, you could very quickly take it and you can just move it to wherever you want it to be tagged. Now, as you can see, it, it didn't move the note out of the, out of the note column. All it did was just add the, the tag symbol. If you want to add more tags generically to use, you could add them right here, and then they'll be available to you when you, when you want to tag them. Uh, if you have a lot of tags in, in, uh, in Evernote, you can nest them. Uh, nested tags are tags that are organized as subtags under a main tag. Have I confused you yet? Uh, for example, a main tag might be uh, travel, and under that you could have uh, places to travel, like Chicago and Milwaukee and Paris and those kinds of things. Uh, so you could, for example, uh, under uh, someday maybe create subtags uh, that uh, you know might be for personal or for work. Let me show you how to do that. So let's click on all of the tags here. These are all of the tags that I have right now. Uh, and now if I want to create nested tags under the someday maybe, you see these three dots here? I, uh, I could very simply click on those, and now it will allow me to create a sub-tag in Someday Maybe. So here I would say uh, personal uh, Someday Maybe tags. And now, as you can see, we have a Someday Maybe folder, but if I click on this button here, now we have personal, uh, and you can keep going from there. Uh, if you're using a Teams account, by the way, uh, nested tags don't work there for the rest of us. That's how you can use nested tags. As you can see, I really don't have much of a need uh, for nested tags. I like to keep my tag infrastructure uh, uh, pretty simple to follow. I just look for things that will uh, fit together in our groupings that might be in several notebooks. But some people use their system um, on tags really to, to replace notebooks. They have tags for everything and they swear by it. Uh, there's a well-known productivity expert who wrote that he uses uh, only four notebooks in his entire account. The rest of his organization is based on tags. He has lots of them, like well over a hundred. And as you can see, my preference is to have probably more notebooks and fewer tags. The reason I don't like to do it the other way is because the entire organizational system is now uh, dependent on me uh, remembering to tag something, and sometimes I forget. Uh, and once upon a time, uh, I used too many tags, and uh, whenever I'd forget one or I, I duplicate one, it would cause havoc. For example, I had a tag named bank, but then I also had another tag that used the name of my bank. Well, when I was setting up my tags, that made sense. But when I was using them every day, did I put something related to my checking account in bank or in the name of my bank? A single note can have up to 100 different tags. And you can create up to, get this, 100,000 tags in total. You can find your most used tags in the tags widget 
on your home dashboard or in the sidebar and use them as filters when searching or save them as shortcuts.